What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2024 Ford Explorer. It's a King Ranch edition as you can see and today we have this problem that most people will not be able to fix but I'm gonna show you um, what's the process to fix and if you can see right here we have the collision um, message on that means that the cruise is not available and that's because this truck was uh, involved in a front-end collision they replaced the radar sensor and the radar was all broken so I think it was pretty pretty hard but we are going to calibrate this truck we're gonna be using the hunter uh, special um, targets to uh, program this in the tablet and I'll uh, show you step by step if you're interested in the video if not then you can just uh, stop watching and not lose any more of your time but if you're interested and want to learn well I'm gonna show you on this video how this is done all right guys so let's get started all right so we're gonna select the CM, CM calibration let's just uh, continue on this Come on. we're gonna press continue because we have the active connection to internet Come on, let's go. And press continue, it's gonna calibrate the sensor, mechanical vertical alignment, make sure everything's fine. So we're gonna press okay. Okay again. Okay. A okay. And okay. So here we're gonna see some drive the vehicle at the required speed. So once the uh, procedure is complete, the indicator located on the dash will turn off. So we're just gonna press yes. Oh, actually we have to drive it, so gotta start over. All right, so this calibration is gonna be actually called dynamic calibration. What it means is you need to drive the vehicle and have the scanner also connected to the vehicle in order to get that light off. Uh, static, uh, in the other hand, static calibrations are if you you're gonna you're gonna need the targets for the static calibration but if it's dynamic then it will uh, just need this and driving it and well once the procedure is complete it will eventually turn off so it says with the engine running make sure the cruise control button is activated and well it says says not available with the engine running and start vehicle and be prepared to drive before continuing all right so we're gonna take this car to the uh, street and start driving all right so we have the engine running and it says to press the uh, adaptive cruise but it's not available and it says uh, proceed complete here with the engine running make sure the cruise control button is activated oh well, it is activated I believe but it's not available Start the engine and be prepared to drive. It's already on, so we're gonna press continue. And we're gonna wait until that light uh, goes off. It says, once the procedure is completed, located on the, um, the indicator located on the dash will turn off, pull over, and stop the vehicle. So let's go drive. All right, guys, so if you remember, we had a code in the cruise control module. So we had the initialization not completed, and for that, we needed to use the FDRS to run the cruise control programmable installation which is the uh, the configuration this one right here you need to configure it because they put a used one it's not a new one so that's why it wasn't working but now that we have everything done we just need to run the, uh, the calibration data and we need to go for a test drive for this all right all right guys, so the sensor is in the adaptive mode, front sensor not aligned. This is what you gotta do. Uh, we gotta use the original software from the dealership and uh, I'm gonna just drive it like this with my laptop, like this. And now it does let me set the cruise control now. But we still have the light on. So the sensor needs to uh, learn as you drive and will adjust by itself. All right, so just gonna continue driving. You can see we have some of the process already 
complete it as you drive it, it must be uh, this the truck must be running above 30 miles an hour all the time to be able to uh, do this process properly so I'm just gonna start driving a little bit more and well I hope I can come in I can film the whole process of this I'm currently going at 25 miles per hour so it's not gonna do anything and I'm about to get into the freeway in a little bit and by the way this thing is very slippery all right guys so as you can see I've been driving the truck for about 15 minutes actually it was 20 and we have the light already off there we go we have full control now as you can see the truck is driving nice 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 and we successfully completed this cruise control alignment procedure complete and well this is how you align the uh, cruise control on this 2024 for Explorer King Ranch Edition Max I believe edition 2 and well I hope you liked the information on this video guys please if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe comment down below turn vacations on and well I'll see you on the next episode JB Fix out guys bye